Hello, welcome back to my Viva Finance channel. Today is a very, very good day and I hope it will be a very, very good Monday to you. But today I'm bringing a nice, you know, <laughs> because what I'm seeing now is this. You are needed, no matter what any politician says, you are needed because there are nobody to do the jobs. Businesses are closing up, so they are looking for you. So, if you are a security personnel with hotel experience, you know these people that work in a hotel, you have hotel experience, what they call front desk, management, hotel management experience, housekeeping, you can clean, you can dress a hotel bed, and all that, you know, it's not like ordinary cleaning because there's a way they dress. You know, if you lodge in a hotel, you can see the way they do their bed. It's not like the one we do at home. So, you know, that kind of housekeeping, cleaning, and all that. So, another one is this management uh, role and maintenance role. Maintenance are the people that if there's a socket, if a socket spoil, they will fix it in a hotel. They know how to do it. They know how to go around, fix the security, like the gadget and the electrical security issues in the hotel. Okay, then this management role. Management role is not only about manager. You know, hotel management role is different from the management of a company because hotel is like hospitality. You have to show empathy, you have to welcome people, you have to make them secure, you have to make sure that their property are secured. You know, these borders around security and human, humans. So, the next one is concierge, or concierge, or concierge. Anyone, you see it in the screen, you know? The pronunciation is not my language. So, event coordinator, or marketing, hotel marketing executive, or sales executive in a hotel. If these things interest you, you want to travel to Australia within 30 days, there's a massive recruitment going on in Australia. So I will be back to tell you about it. And the payment is so, you cannot believe it. What they pay a desk, front desk, you will not believe it. So stay with me and I will tell you how you will go and end up to 100 Canadian dollars as a housekeeper, cleaning a hotel, dressing the bed, and you earn that kind of money. I'll be right back. Hello, we are here. So, I have listed what jobs are in a hotel. There are many openings because... You know, anytime we are finishing summer, going into Halloween, <laughs> anytime we are finishing summer, going to Halloween, then everybody is getting into that fever. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we are finished summer, then we are going to getting into a time where people that owns the land don't want to work. So there should be recruitment of people from outside the location where they cannot see people to do the work to work who are these people of course you of course so if you've got experience in all those things like front desk receptionist um uh, uh, housekeeping um marketing in hotel sales in hotel management maintenance security you know all those things if you have experience in them or hotel working in a hotel or waiter or food and beverage or concierge or chef anywhere you are you've got total experience i will tell you there are companies i don't mean companies that you know like have you know these companies they have branches you know i i don't know like when we say travel lodge in united kingdom so these companies i'll be telling you about you have to go to their website or where they are putting but i have seen their jobs because when you see jobs in indeed pop up like all the time or you see in job role or in in job 
pop up all that time in their live stream because this company pay a whole lot to put jobs in the live stream in those websites because what happens is this the jobs that goes to live stream means that it is like it is red um red lights that people are not coming for this job so they have to push it they have to put it in your face in the live stream for people to come and apply unfortunately like i said yesterday gen z and millennials they are trying to do remote jobs so it is not like before people are killing themselves for work yeah but you know as an african you know things you might have it as a starting point to get a citizenship it's not as if that when you travel there you stay in that job no that's not we are not saying you have to stay down we are saying you have to get you can stay down to get that citizenship i i stayed for seven years to get that citizenship then you can now move it is not because during my own time we have point based system you know most of you your point based system do, does not reflect the kind of job you do to earn this our own with people with master's degree we are meant to earn close to fifty thousand pounds then so most time you have the first job that pay you that something pounds then you have to get another one maybe from care homo to complement that so that you can have a, a government to see that you're earning that money you know as so but now things are more relaxed you know immigration law you know uh, uh, changed quite a lot because they be, you know covid and all that pre-covid recession made these jobs redundant then people in the country don't want to do them anymore after they have stayed home with their family during the COVID or post resection before the COVID. So this compounded the problem of job crisis. There are jobs, but there are nobody to do it here. So now they have opened the channel for you to come in. The first company in my list is AHS Hospitality. The, as the name sounds they are all about hospitality and all that most of their job in the live stream in this big recruitment website and it comes with visa sponsorship so and again they said they have housing and flight gate and accommodation for um people that are coming from africa so here you here you go i don't know about family let me not lie they didn't state about whether you're coming with your family in the website. It's when you go to the interview, you have to ask them. Then, number two is SA Health. Uh, this is uh, a company that start dealing with uh, giving people soft, soft relaxation. What do I mean by soft relaxation? You know, there are places you will go to. They didn't start off as a hotel, but they have a business that led them like transport companies and all that. So that led them to provide accommodation for their clients, like post service. Then their clients go there. Then some of them are people coming for treatment from abroad. They use their facility to stay together, well being are, you know, maintained in the you know in a more high standard then number three is minor uh, international uh, and this they pay well the reviews i read from most because <laughs> you know i told people read the reviews from the company but again don't conclude based on the re reviews sometimes people that give these reviews are people that had issues with the company or people that once just want to leave the job so sometimes you can never know because you're not doing those people you, you don't have interview with them to know all those the facts you just two or three lines they wrote in the reviews but it's still good that you go and check please go and check <laughs> don't take my word for it go and check to make sure that everything is fine so from their reviews they said they pay well so i don't know but when you do interview 
you have to ask them how much they are paying you. Remember what I told you people? Go and check. Maybe if you are applying for front desk, you go and check how much are they paying some a front desk in a hotel in Australia. They will bring so many things for you. Then you can choose from there. So you can know like the range. So when you are in the interview, <laughs> so that you don't fumble, my dear, because they might say, and you calculate it in your foreign currency, in the currency you have back home, it will be so much money. But my dear, you're going to this country and you have to live your life there. And those countries are expensive. It's not the way it seems. You have to pay for some bills, accommodation, water bill, electricity, and all that. Even if they are offering you accommodation, it might not be free at some certain point. Maybe because they are getting you from foreign land, they will give you a settlement accommodation for you to settle like three to five or three to six months. Drivers in Australia, I heard one guy that said that when he traveled to Australia, they gave him accommodation six months. So it is not permanent. That six months is like as a foreign person, you have to stabilize. You have to, you know, start any money to start thinking of where to put your head and all that. So this is where I'll be ending this video. And again, you know our tradition. Please, please subscribe now. And share with your family and friends and everybody around you and and please give us a thumbs up drop a comment let us meet you let us know you let us chit chat with you and this is where i will be ending this video and i will see you in the next one please tell your families everybody don't forget this one please share in your social media platforms bye bye